coined 50 Switzerlands in one, and once looked at as a rugged, inaccessible place where only the wild-spirited and adventurous dare venture, Glacier National Park in Rogers Pass recently celebrated its 125th anniversary with a blast. A blast from a howitzer cannon, that is. In 1881, Major A.B. Rogers was hired by a private railway company to find a pass over the unexplored Selkirk Mountains. Rogers set out with the hopes of having the pass named after him and collecting a $5,000 bonus. In 1882, Rogers did indeed confirm that a pass existed and that it was good enough for the rapidly approaching railway. We're mainly a hiking park, you know, we, we appeal to people who want to get out and see the mountains in person on shorter trails, on longer trails, right up uh, onto ridges to look at the glaciers yourself. With about 400 glaciers once walked upon by Swiss Alpine guides and pristine lush green forests, the site has become a place for us to explore our close connection with nature. The scenery changes very little, but a lot has changed in the way that people interact with these exceptional places. During the festivities, I found out that exploration of the park can indeed be done quite easily before daylight slips away without going much further than the Discovery Centre. If someone just wants to kind of hang around the Discovery Centre and look at things, this is a good little tool. It's a great little tool. You can use this scope and look up here on Mount Tupper and watch for mountain goats. Really? Yes. Way over there. Way up there and you can zoom them in and sometimes we even have people climbing up along the ridge line wow. and you can watch for them. Okay. And if you see there's a, if you go to the highest peak and then come down it, you'll see there's a little pinnacle of a rock and a little tiny rock behind it. We call that the hermit and his dog. Hermit and his dog. Well, I'm not quite sure where I should. Oh, look at that. I can totally. S oh, that is the coolest thing ever. Wow. That and is the... just incredible. Oops. And you can go around. There's wow. the Swiss glacier. Okay, there. that was. That was, that's amazing. Well, did somebody just, just find it? One of the coolest things I think you talked about was the fact that along that one little ridge, um, that, that's kind of all uh, it's glacier, a marine. Yeah. A glacier deposit. And there's yeah. a cabin over there. And there is a cabin, so people can come and stay in the backcountry overnight. You just have to pack everything in and then pack it out. But you can stay up there and enjoy the fresh subalpine air and uh, get up close and personal to the glaciers. No, no wireless. Oh, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> no toilets, though. No toilets, just pit toilets. <laughs> yes. The theme of the celebration? 125 years of art, science, and adventure in the park, with Parks Canada standing on behalf of all Canadians as the stewards and guides to this and other natural and cultural treasures. More information on the park is available online. From Rogers Pass for Shaw, I'm Tammy Williams.